Greetings and it's it's me James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today are we going to take a data set like this, where we have a double barrel header. Well, you find this a lot in practical real world situations. And we are going to take this and we're going to take this double barrel header and basically make it a single row header and use a delimiter to concatenate the two rows. But then we're going to create a function and you can reuse that function on any data set that you want. Enough talking, let me show you how to do it. All right, and as always, we get the data into Power Query by selecting your data over there, going to data and saying from table or range. So the very first thing we do is we isolate the top two rows. Okay, so I'm going to add a step over there, clicking on that add step icon there. And I'm going to say table first n and I'm going to tell it give me the first two rows because in this case I'm looking at the first two rows. So the first n is just going to give me the first n rows from a table. All right, let's rename the step. I'm just going to click there and press F2 and say let's call this header. Next thing that I want to do is to concatenate this. I want to turn this into a list. So how do we do that? We add another step. We say table two columns and we give it a name and we close it up and now you see we basically have a list of lists and you can see each item in this list will basically represent the pair of stock and rank share and name if i look at that stock and rank share and name it's exactly what we want let's rename this f2 let's call this header list okay Add another step. What we want to do now is you want to take this list of lists and we want to concatenate it. So we want to transform the list. So we're going to basically be using list transform and we need to give it a list. Luckily, the header list is a list. And now we need to specify what we want to transform. So we're going to say each. Okay, so for each item in that list of lists, take the function text combine because you want to combine everything under uh, inside of the list of lists, which is the underscore. And I want to use the pipe delimiter over there and close the bracket out. And here you, here you go. There is your header actually concatenated with a pipe delimiter. Let's quickly click there and rename that to header concat. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is we want to take each of these columns that we've created, the row columns, right? And we want to insert that as a record into each of these columns in the source over there at the top. So we're going to say record, create a record from a list because we have a list. And then we need to specify what the column names are. And I don't want to hard code that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say table column names, which would give me all the column names. And I want to refer to that source step over there, which basically will give me the following as quickly. So here you go. So you basically now created a record that says column one is the record and there would be stock and rank. Um, in column seven would be snapshot date. If we look at that, seven snapshot date. Pretty cool. Let's rename the step to header record. All right, next step, I want to go back to the source and I want to remove the top two rows first. Cool. So I'm going to add a new step. And I'm going to say, let's go to the source step. Yes. Cool. And I want to say table skip from the source. I want to skip the top two rows. Yes. Cool. That's exactly what we wanted. Source skip. That's what I renamed that to. All right. So now that we have that, I want to insert this red record into the source skip. So how do we do that? We basically say, let's add a new step table insert rows we need to give it a table we want to insert rows four and we say we want to insert it at position zero at the top and we need to provide it with a list and we are going to refer to header record which was that step we created the header record close it out now this is going to break i press enter it's going to break because it expects this header record to be a list but it's not a list it's a record. How do we convert that into a list? Quite simply, we just put it in curly brackets like that. And there you go. Now that's at the top. All we need to do now is say table promote 
promote headers, give it the table, close it out. And there we go. Magical. We actually did it. So now let's give it a name. Let's say result one and we return it. Brilliant. Okay. So that's pretty cool. But what I want to do is I want to now actually create a function out of what I did now and give it a, another table as inputs like this other data set I have here. You can see it's got three rows at the top. So how do I reuse the code I just did now and push this through there? So let's quickly go back into Power Query. I'm going to copy this result out. Let's say duplicate. Okay, I'm going to call this um, the header function. Cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the advanced editor and I'm going to specify, specify input table for as a table because we want to send a table into the function. And then I want to dynamically also specify the number of um, rows I want to skip and use as double barrel headers. So we can say there row number and as a number. Cool. And we put a little rocket ash in there. And then we take the input variable and we just input table and we replace the source with that because that will become that. And you know where we skip the first two that was kind of our coder. We give it dynamically the row number and say make that that. And then over there where we skip it in the source as well. And that's basically that you say okay. Now we have a header function. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm quickly going to take this data set. You can see it's got the three rows completely different data set. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull it into Power Query. This is called table three. Okay, I'm going to start a brand new query, let's say um, other sources blank query. And I'm going to start by referring to the header function. There we go. And first, I'm going to give it table three as the input. Yes. And I know that I want to skip the top three rows. That's it. And like magic, I reused. Let's return it to Excel. I basically reused that function and applied it on a completely different data set and it worked like a charm. Well, I hope that helped you see how powerful functions are and what cool things you can do with functions in Power Query. BA Sensei signing out.